Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Smee Farm Level Extreme here, and we are continuing on pretty much straight from the last episode. We skipped ahead a tiny bit, just to get through the rain, and we got some floor tiles and wood beams that the boat needs, or the boat you needs, so go and drop those off. There we go. So yeah, this time we will start doing the grass work on our new field. We'll get that done. In terms of what actually we're going to do with that field, I don't know. But yeah, we'll figure out one thing at a time. Just pull over here. No, we don't need you. There we go. So we've got the case here. Now we can't get the mowers all hooked up now, but I'm thinking it's time to get a new tractor. So, well, we need a second tractor anyway in this series. So I'm thinking the John Deere 4755. Go some nice core tracks. Fenders, yep. Three point, yes. Yeah, heck, let's go with a front loader attacher. So now the base color will change slightly, so. Yeah, I'll set black cream. And actually, I like that very much, so we'll stick with that. So tell us it cost us a hundred and thirty-four grand. And of course as well we did say we want to bell these or bell the grass, so we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll go right to the end, selectable bell capacity, yes. And I think we'll go with Yule. So that's the right one, yep, so square bells. That is what we want. Oh yeah. Well yeah, with the Unreal Engine, it's... it's ooh, you, forget, you forget how peppy this engine is, so... 800 in whatever horsepower this has got. Yeah, 890, so that's more than enough we'll need to pull anything. Go with the biggest bell size, so there we go. I sort of think we'll go three, yeah, three times the size. So I'll park you here, so we can use the case to get it hooked up. Basically what that does is it increases the capacity of a normal bell by three times and we can change it up to four times if we desire but I don't think we need to do that so okay. there we go, get it hooked up so yeah, we'll get this field mowed and built and then we'll start looking at expanding the yard because it is time to expand the yards or at least get a start on it so also we could do some more money off instead of all our products yeah I think we could do that as well there we go get out of the words
But yeah, also I do like to apologize for the name of the last episode. Uh, yeah, with the first section of Aussie where we lost the record, lost all the progress of Alpha. Only did a short amount of recording in that, but nope. Did a lot more than I thought we did, so. I'll make sure that won't happen again, and I will try to get these episodes back down towards like the half an hour, 45 minute mark. So I think that's. Yeah, I think that's more desirable compared to an hour, hour 10 minutes, hour 15. Yeah, this thing was going to obviously. Let's get that moved up. Yeah, I did say we fall out places some productions here, but I think we can do that on other parts of the land, so. Or other parts of the map, so I think we'll keep this at least as a grass field. Even though I am very tempted to put a crop in here. Oh. Actually, do we need more productions? No. There are some that I do like to get, and I have found other good places for those. Yes, of course, buying new land, but I think it will be worth it. So, yeah, we will continue on this, and I'll see you folks in a short moment. It's all just thumped up. Couldn't do it go around perfectly, so I had to go up and down a few times. So, yeah, let's go ahead and use this. This cost us 60 grand. It's the front wind rower, and yeah, be interested to see how this can work out. Especially, yeah, we've got good enough power, and it should work quite well, to be honest. So, So you go and unfold you. I'll go and unfold you. You know what? Let's go for the biggest size. Still extending. There we go. And there we go. We just get about three rows in. Okay, we can't get all of this in, so one thing is to keep an eye on for. That is a pretty nice setup if I have to see so myself. Yeah, it's not perfect, obviously, but little rough cuts, we can always pick those up at the end. And look at the size of our grass belt, 26,000 litres. Yeah, 
this will take us no time to get it all done. So yep, yeah, quick get us done, and I'll see you folks in a moment here. <laughs> Belt, and uh, we've got his bells onto our trader. And total, we've got still half a bale left, so about 30,000 years plus six massive bells totaling 156,000 liters. So we'll go and store these. We'll go and get our John Deere, and we'll top the sheep up of whatever they need. And we'll put these over here somewhere for the time being. Oh, let's go and complete these three contracts. How is everything looking? Seventy thousand years of timber left. What about our sheep? What are our goods? Yeah, just give them that bell and they just feel that as and whenever they need to. No, nope, wrong equipment. There. Nope, not that one, John Deere. I just think, yes, we could do a sort of these bells away, but again, no land, so. Because, yeah, I'm thinking if we get the bridge going across here, and then perhaps smooth all this out, I think let's go and try that first. Let's go and. I think first of all I want level, so we go and level. Uh, we've got all the Yes, yeah, so we've got all the stumps picked up, so really it shouldn't take us too long. I need to be able to grass fields. That's it. Keep on going. Damn stump. Let's 
get those equipment moved out of the way. So yeah, we'll go ahead and get you removed. But yeah, that is looking quite nice actually. Soften the terrain. Quite a bit of expense this is, but it's going to be worth it, I think. See so yeah, it pretty much almost where I want it. So we want a bridge, so we go to our decorations, the other, Decorations. I am, um, yeah, that is actually quite good almost. So I think we should do a tiny bit more landscaping. So we want to just. need to again delete yeah because if you delete that get it sort of semi leveled Looking a bit better. That's it, that's a lot better. If we can just move the terrain. <coughs> Sorry about that. Yeah, it's not going to be the best transitions, but... Because, yeah, I think then if you get a gravel track that goes across... Yeah, 
again. So pedantic. So yeah, I think actually you know what? Best thing for me to do here is just get a sort of done a bit off camera. Or in time lapse and then brief folks back when we we're done. Repair. So yeah, continue to get it done. I'll see you folks in a few moments. everything that we need to yet. Yeah, I'm still need to just think about a couple of things on where to place off, but for now, got a temporary little shed in place. And that's gonna be for us to store all of our bells. So oh, go with you up. There we go. And then the other little things that we think we could do is with storing like bags of fertilizer or seeds. There we go. But yeah, so next time what we'll do is go and sell all the products. I think we'll take him up to Elm Creek how we may do the cheeky sell stuff, possibly, or they on to train properly. Yeah, I'm not too sure. So about four bells tall at the back. I'll say go to about a five, maybe six bells tall at the front. But yeah, I'm not too worried about that. There we go. So yeah, my thinking of how we can sort of lay this out is... No, not that one. No, 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 no. Oh, that'd be really nice to have. Yeah, so I have something like that, I'll place a nice shed here. And we'll perhaps have another little tiny shed over here. Oh, I'm not too sure. It's probably even this little shed may be best for us. Perhaps, yep. Yeah. yeah, we'll figure something out, but yep. Yeah. 
that is where we're going to leave it today. So yeah, next time we will resume with what we've been doing here off camera. Get all products loaded up and get them sold at the at Elm Creek. Should look for a train for crossing. Oh yeah, I think actually what we'll do is get all the products, get them on, take them to the roller coaster and the boat yards. Whatever they do need, we'll keep for ourselves and the rest we will sell. But yeah, besides from that, that's getting the yard done. And then we can really look at getting our proper grass field done for the first time. Over to the power factory. And also, yeah, start getting to get all the work equipment in place to be able to do some arable farming. But all that requires time in it. I want to that's just weeding and lift over. No idea. But yeah, that's where we leave it today. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share us, then please be my guest. If you subscribe to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope everyone has to say, but for now, it's be fun on our Evo Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.